Well, here is the story behind the song, Whatever Is. Gosh, I started writing it back in 2019, but the journey to get to this song actually started a few years before that. A friend of mine told me about that book, uh, Switch on Your Brain by Dr. Carolyn Leaf. And that kind of changed the way that I lived my life. In that book, she talks about the science behind being transformed by the renewing of your mind. And it takes you on a journey of forming habits and just became a regular practice, not just for me, but for our family. I also, at the time, had toddlers. And if you've ever worked with little young children, you might know that they respond better to being redirected instead of being told what not to do. Because if you say, don't do this, it draws attention to what you're not supposed to do instead of saying, okay, let's do this instead. And it redirects over to where their thoughts and actions should be. So as I was reading Switch on Your Brain and working on redirecting my children, I spent a lot of time in Philippians 4 where instead of talking about what you're not supposed to do, Paul redirects you to, you know, here's what you think about. Be thankful, rejoice. Whatever is good, whatever is lovely, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever brings praise to God, think on these things and, you're, and you'll be pretty good. So I spent a lot of time just taking thoughts captive and shifting my focus to to things that are lovely and things that are beautiful and things that are pure, things that are just and things that are honest and being honest with myself. So it, uh, it was a lot of hard work, but I spent several years in that headspace. Fast forward to 2019, we were visiting Asheville because some friends of ours were getting married. We were at the rehearsal and then driving back from the rehearsal, I think my kids were in the back watching a movie and I was in the front just meditating on Philippians 4 again. And one of the ways that I've been taught to meditate as a worship leader and a songwriter is to sing scripture. And so I was taking Philippians 4 and just singing it. So the, that's where the verses came from, is I was driving down the road through the mountains just singing, whatever is good, whatever is true, Whatever I think about, let it point me back to you. And I thought it was pretty catchy. So I pulled my phone out, turned on voice memo and recorded it right away. And, and there it sat for months. And then, uh, you know, come back to it, sing it over myself because it was a catchy little hook to help me remember Philippians 4. And then later that summer, my pastor Shauna was teaching on Philippians 4 and it brought all of that back. And, and I'd been working on the verses, get all the scriptures to fit in there and rhyme so I could get every little piece of, of Philippians 4, 8 into those verses. And so her teaching sparked the chorus, what became the chorus. And then one morning uh, I was listening to Matt Tommy. It was probably like a live Q and A or something. And he talks about this stuff all the time. He's also a big fan of Carolyn Leaf. And so we were, he was talking about being intentional with your thoughts. And he had said something that I thought was beautiful about, um, about thoughts being like seeds that you plant. And as you cultivate them, they grow into whatever you put in, in the soil of your heart. And so I took that like, and just put melody to it. And at the time, I thought it was going to be a pre-chorus that led into the rejoice part. And so I had these like three different sections. Oh, actually, I had a fourth. I had a, I had a different bridge that uh, we ended up scrapping. I grabbed all these pieces and I brought them to my friend Joe, uh, Joe Kuyar. He's one of my favorite songwriters. And we just sat down and, and started working on it. He has a, he has a great gift for structure and he pulled all the pieces apart, and then we put them back together in a beautiful way, which is the way it is now. And then we recorded a work tape. And even when we recorded that work tape, we weren't 
super sure that that's how it was gonna stay. We just like sang it into, he played guitar and I sang into the little spire. We had this beautiful, decent quality work tape, but we thought, we'll keep coming back to this song. It might need some more tweaking. But I was so excited about this song that I shared it with some friends and it just kind of took off. It's inspired artwork. Um, we did it at a, at a conference uh, that following March. And then when it was time to do this next album, it became the core message of the album that like every other song was built around. So every other song was selected to go with this core message of shifting our thoughts back to Jesus, who points us to the Father. And every, so the whole album has this theme of whatever I think about, let it point me back to you. And whatever is good, whatever is true, that doesn't mean that we don't have difficult circumstances or we don't have hard things that happen to us, but the way that we think about them, we have a choice in our perspective and we have a choice in, um, in what we allow into our world with the media that we consume and the people that we hang out with and the things that we read. And so all of that plays into directing your thought life and making good choices and what are you gonna to do to build those habits in your life? So that's the story behind whatever is, how it was written. It was definitely not um, something I did by myself. It, it was not a quick project. It was slow and took years to develop the, um, the truth to get it in my heart before it ever um, came out to encourage other people. But I'm glad it is encouraging people and I'm thankful that it is able to become an anchor of encouragement in other people's lives. So I hope it encourages you too. Whatever it is.